हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर आई सी टी टीचर गिरीश लोखंडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज टाइप्स एंड कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वॉट इज हार्डवेयर वॉट इज सॉफ्टवेयर वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ हार्डवेयर एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर सो लेट्स बिगिन हार्डवेयर hardware is a general term for the physical components that make up a computer system example keyboard mouse printer etc so friends hardware is a physical component that can be touched and felt okay examples are keyboard mouse printer the other examples of hardware are yes CCTV camera, projector, monitor, etc. Okay. Now software. Software is a general term for the programs that control the computer system. Now, the software cannot be touched and felt, but it is there inside the computer. It controls the computer system, and it is actually the set of program. to understand softwares and hardwares we can take the example of real life where we compare the computers with books the actual pages and ink used on the pages of the book are equivalent to the hardware used to make the computers the words written on the pages are equivalent to the software without the words the book is useless similarly without the software computers would be of little use now let's see types of hardware there are two types of hardware external hardware and internal hardware external hardware those hardware which are present outside the cpu cabinet are called as external hardware so students the hardware which are outside of the cpu cabinet are called as external hardware what are the examples examples are keyboard mouse printers etc we will study about the external hardware in our next chapter input and output devices now internal hardware those hardware which are present inside the cpu cabinet are called as in internal hardware so students the hardware okay the hardware which are present inside the cpu cabinet there is a cpu cabinet okay and cpu you know it is the brain of the computer it should be there to run a computer system and the hardware which are present inside the cpu cabinet are called as internal hardware the examples of internal hardware are motherboard ram rom video cards sound cards storage devices that is hard disk and solid state drivers okay so we will see these examples in details the first example is motherboard the motherboard is a printed circuit found in all computers it allows the processor and other computer hardware to function and communicate with each other one of the major functions of a typical motherboard is to act as a kind of hub that connects the other devices of the computer so there is a circuit inside the cpu box to which all the parts of the computers such as keyboard mouse monitor and printer are connected to a socket of the motherboard hence the motherboard is very important part of the computer system because it carries out the communication between other hardware and the processor of the computer system now let us see what is ram ram stands for random access memory it is an internal chip where data is temporarily stored when running the applications this memory can be written to and read from so we can write on the ram and we can read the content from the ram 
so ram carry out the read and write operations at the same time and it is also known as volatile memory because the data written on the ram is available temporarily till the electricity is there as soon as the electricity goes off the data will be vanished next example is rom rom stands for read only memory read only memory is a memory used to store information that needs to be permanent it is often used to contain for example configuration data for a computer system so to run the operating system the computer stores the operating system on the chip known as a rom okay so students these chips cannot be altered and can only be read that is why it is called as read only memory one of the main advantages is that the information stored on the rom is not lost even when the power turned off to the computer we have seen in ram when the electricity goes off the data will be vanished but here it is not the case now video cards a video card allows the computer to send graphical information to a video display unit such as monitor television or projector it usually connects to the motherboard okay video cards are usually made up of processing unit memory unit that is ram a cooling mechanism often in the form of heat sink since these cards generate much heat connection to a display unit that is monitor television or projector so if there is no video card in your cpu you cannot see any picture you cannot see any movie on a computer okay so a video card should be there or i can say must be there in your computer system in order to see the movies now sound cards a sound card is an integrated circuit that provides a computer with ability to produce sounds these sounds can be heard by the user either through speakers or headphones sound cards also allow user to record sound input from a microphone connected to the computer and to manipulate sounds stored on a disk so if the sound card is not there in your cpu box you cannot listen to any sounds or you cannot record any sounds understood all right now storage devices storage devices typically consists of hard disk and solid state drives basically hard disk drives are the magnetic in nature and are one of the main methods for storing data data means text photos and music and most of the systems and application softwares are stored on the internal storage devices that is hard disk and standard storage devices such as solid state drives so i hope you understood this session we will cover the types of software in next session if you have any doubts or queries feel free to ask me Thank you